I created five brand new Pokemon, but the only problem is I can't draw. So I enlisted my friend Jaden to help me out, starting with our very first Pokemon. This is a fighting and psychic type with a new ability called Tricky Stance. It's a unique ability that sets Trick Room up whenever the Pokemon enters the field, but this Trick Room only lasts for three turns rather than the normal five. I've given it above average bulk and a good attack stat and made it extremely slow. This ability is really powerful, so I tried to keep it as balanced as I could by not making any one stat too high. So honestly, it's probably still too strong. Anyway, time to draw and name this thing. How are you feeling going into this? That's what I want to know. I'm nervous in just in the fact that I don't know what you're cooking up, but I, I'm excited. And I will also be creating what I think these Pokemon should look like. So uh, that's yeah. what I'm also excited for. Absolutely. I mean, hey, you know, I'm, I'm really on this channel. I'm really well known for my art skills. So just don't <laughs> feel too bad if, if I, you know, shine a little bright. So I, I was originally intending to do the name first, but I actually think that for me, it makes more sense to name them after I see what I've created. So whatever creative process works the best for you, man. That's right. I'm certainly, this is certainly a creative process. Psychic fighting is always like, do I go with the red or do I go with the purple? Oh, red. <laughs> That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see what you come up with. I like, I don't know. <laughs> I like how this guy's, I like how this guy's turned out actually. Oh, oh wow. Also, I just learned that about different brush thicknesses. I did not have to do this all with the really thin brush. No, you probably didn't. <laughs> no, it was really hard actually. Well, now you're, you're learning as an artist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm evolving in real time. I'm like the dinosaur from Jurassic World. I feel like naming Pokemon is either the hardest or the easiest part of the Pokemon. My name came easily to me, but I don't think that it's very good. I think I'm done. Awesome. I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> okay. So can you see, can you see my screen? Okay. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this guy's awesome. This is Glormbus. Um, he's, Glor much, <laughs> he's much better now that I've given him a mouth. So I like him. He's so happy. He's very happy. He looks way happier than I intended. These, these are mm -hmm. ears. These little pink things are ears. I wanted to do kind of like a sword that was like kind of magic wandy at the same time. But I did mm. make this thing's ability tricky stance in hindsight. And I don't really, I think of stance as like martial arts, not necessarily a weapon. So I, I think it's fair to dock some points for that. I like Glorvis. I love the name too. <laughs> I was like, what is this guy named? And I was like, it's definitely Glorvis. Cool. All right. Are you right, ready I to see mine? See oh my God. Jane, this is so good. I made him like based on a giant sloth. Oh my because God. He's kind of slow. Yeah. And then I made him. You know, kind of like the the fighting arms, and then but he's got psychic eye. Yeah, I, I love that's... that his like real eyes are closed, but his like third eye is open. I think that's so cool. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Cool. All, All right, right. We're are you ready to go start. to the next one? Yeah, let's do it. Wait a second. Have you eaten today? If you're anything like me, finding time to make food is tough, and it's also hard to find time to go grocery shopping. Why does it have to be so hard? Well, thanks to today's sponsor, it doesn't have to be. Factor 75 is a pre-prepared meal delivery service that fits your lifestyle. With more than 27 meal options each week, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, and vegetarian, there's always something for everyone. Meal plans range from 4 to 18 meals per week and you can add or reduce that number or skip a week if you need to. This is by far the most flexible and convenient meal delivery service out there. And it's healthy. Stop ordering takeout and try Factor 75's dietitian approved chef-made meals in just two minutes. Reach your daily goals through nutritious and purposeful eating. As a YouTuber, competitive Pokemon player, and vegetarian, finding time to make food is a nightmare. Thankfully, Factor 75's website is super easy to use. There, you'll be able to see the full menu for the week, including pictures of how the food will look and exactly what's in it. If you're in the process of finding healthy things to eat stressful, I recommend checking out Factor 75. Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code POGWOLFIEMAY40 for 40% off plus 20% off your next month. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. Thanks again to Factor 75 for sponsoring this video. Our next Pokemon is Bug and Dragon, a type combination that does not currently exist. This Pokemon is a fast special attacker with good overall bulk. To give some direction to this drawing, I gave it the abilities Overcoat, Compound Eyes, and a Nerve. And to make sure it was strong, 
gave it useful supporting moves like Pollen Puff and Tailwind. They're cooking up some really cool combos. I, I like gave it a fair bit of thought because I really wanted to like do stuff that was like unique, you know? People think it's easy to be like, I'm going to make a ground flying type. And it's like, all right, well, what's that going to be? And they're like, I don't know. How do I draw a dragon? You give them fangs. I sure draw a pelican. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fangs might help. Actually, pelican dragon sounds awesome, I will say. Colors are the hardest part. How do I make this guy a reality? I feel really good about my colors here. I'm way better Ooh. than Glormus. My, my favorite, my type of Pokemon is either big, strong, powerful monster or we weird little guy. Do you like um baby Grimmsnarl, Infident? No. Isn't he like a weird little guy? He's ugly. <laughs> and I don't like the ugly guys. <laughs> oh, they have to be cute weird little guys. Yeah, like small live. Uh, I see, yes. So I was devastated when I saw that he evolved. I wanted him to stay little forever. You don't like Dolive? No, I, I actually do not like Dolive at all. Yeah, it's not weird enough. I think I'm done, but I just don't know what his, what his name is. Do you want help? Yeah, yeah, we can name it together. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, you, Jane, this is amazing. Thank you. I so love my little dragon tail. Yeah, so my idea is I wanted him to be like a big moth, like a lunar moth, where the, the wings make it look like he's a dragon yeah. to predators. And his tail is like the little dragon tongue. He spreads his powders. I imagine he can like get defensive by cutting covering himself up with the wings, or maybe he's just hard to hit because he's tiny. What, what do you think he should be named? I was thinking like Fodragon. Fodragon. Ooh, I like that. Because he's like a fake dragon, but it doesn't really fit in the moth of the bug aspect, but... Or we could do like Fodramoth. Fodramoth, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna look at your guy now. Let me introduce you to Flag and Dry. Flag and Dry! <laughs> He's awesome! I, I am very proud of this. So it's like, I basically started with the body of like a bug and you know, it has compound mm. eyes. So I was like, well, I gotta give it, it like, I, I had a similar idea, uh, eyes on wings. And then I was like, okay, well, I, I'm kind of thinking about like, we have kind of body of bug. Let me add more dragon elements in. So I made him a little scaly. I gave him some legs, some arms and like dragon head and then also dragon tail. I love it. It's it's kind of like the wings of Hydragon, ah, but it's yeah. like super cool and eyeball. I love eyeballs on where they shouldn't be. <laughs> so yeah, that's flag and dry. Hey, I just checked and you're not even subscribed. Come on, you want to subscribe, right? Don't you want to be a great artiste like me? Next up is another unique type combination, fire and fairy. I chose this pairing because it doesn't currently exist and because Fire and Fairy are super strong together offensively. I went with generic abilities of Flash Fire, Flame Body, and Cute Charm, and since I'd already had one fast and one slow Pokemon, decided to make this Pokemon more average in speed, rounding out the stats with good special attack and special defense, and a weaker defense stat. Since the stats aren't anything special, I gave this Pokemon a unique move, Scorching Song, which is an 80 base power Fairy type attack with a 30% chance to burn. Basically, fairy type scald. When you were making these these Pokemon, did you have anything in mind, or are you also kind of just thinking of stuff on the spot? I was thinking about. I'm thinking of stuff on the spot. Like I was thinking about like, okay, what do I think would be interesting from like a competitive standpoint? But I didn't really think about what it could like look like. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh wait, there's a line tool in paint. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there just, is. Oh my god, I'm about to become the best artist of all time. <laughs> There's also the, the the shape tool. You know, you can make circles and squares huh? and everything. Oh yeah. My god. Jaden, you are a genius. Oh my god. My <laughs> designs just got so much better. Oh my god. Things are so much better for me now. <laughs> Things are on the <laughs> up and up. <laughs> I was just thinking, I was like, man, it'd be so nice if there was just a way that I could get a straight line. Like, that'd be so good for <laughs> me. My favorite part about doing, like, art collab videos is that it really brings out the focus yeah. in everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I might keep this one simple. Yeah, this guy's pretty simple too. Okay, I'm done. Okay, cool. Can you see my screen? Blaze box. Yeah. So I was thinking. Blue robot. <laughs> I was thinking like, okay, boom box, but it's on fire, and also a fairy oh. type. So yeah, this is Blaze box. I was actually inspired a bit by Nackley because Nackley's kind of just like a little mushroom. It like it's like how does it move? So I kind of figured this can fill oh. the same category um but yeah fire fairy makes noise simple easy i was gonna give it a body but then i'm like well then it's not really a boom box so i just kept it as a head mm -hmm. i like it 
I Thank like you. I like your use of the the, the line tool. Too. Thank you. It has, it has made things easier for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! I didn't give this guy a name either. I'll I'll think of it on the spot. Oh wait, Jaden, this is amazing! Holy cow! I I was thinking there's already a cake and already kind of like a candle Pokemon, right. so I I kind of ripped from them them. But I was thinking that this this Pokemon kind of like is lured out by birthday cake and people singing happy birthday ah. so it's like oh be careful make sure you have your your birthday parties inside you know? <laughs> i really like that wait that's so cute thank you i don't know the name actually uh something i the, this one's devoted to the comments the comments can think of the yeah name that, that's the right you can let us know in the comments what we should name this pokemon every pokemon i've made thus far has been offensive so i decided it was time for a change this next Pokemon is an Ice and Poison type, which is another unique typing, with stats geared heavily towards defense. It's got three good abilities, in Filter, Corrosion, and Toxic Debris, and its move pool makes it really well suited for being annoying and sticking around with moves like Baneful Bunker, Recover, and Poison Gas. I love ice Pokemon. I know. This is the best they've been in a while. Like, hail turning into snow. Terrestrialization also helps so they can become not ice type. I actually, I'm kind of stumped on this one, Jaden. I actually don't know where to start. I'm going a route that I think is stupid. Because this guy, this guy's a silly thing. You know how, like, the sh Pokemon, like, Amoongus and Toxapex come out, your reaction is like, Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have to deal with this. That's what I want people to think. If, if this guy was real. I really like my guy. I like my guy too. I've, I This sounds like a, a good round. I think it, I think it is. Okay, okay. I'm, All right, I'm ready? Done. Let me, let me, you want to share first this time? Uh, sure, yeah. Let me open up. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, Wait, Jade, this is amazing. Octopus. octopus in an igloo. He just shoots sludge bombs at you <laughs> with his little tank mouth. I love that. I love octopus as well. That's like one of my favorite uh, animals. I like Pokemon where it's like, you don't know what they really look like. Like Mimikyu under the skies, mm -hmm. like Tangela. He's giving me those vibes. Like the igloo's just the shell yeah. of like the, the thing inside. All right, All right ready? I'm going to look at your guy. Yeah, I'm really proud of this one. Permafrogs. That, Perma oh my God, that's such a good, that's <laughs> such a good name. I'm I think crap. in terms of name, I'm not getting any better than this. This is the best one. I was thinking about, okay, like there's like venomous frogs, right? I was like, well, it has the ability of toxic debris, which is like when it, when you touch it, poison spreads, right? So I was like, okay, froggy, that works. I like that he's kind of like messed up. Like he doesn't really have legs. <laughs> yeah. it's just two, it's just two arms, you know what I mean? <laughs> He kind of just like forearm walks all over the exactly. place. Exactly. <laughs> and finally, our last Pokemon. This one doesn't have a unique type combination. Currently, the only Pokemon line with this typing is Ludicolo. And it's such a cool combination that I really wanted to use it. I wanted it to be able to function in both sun and rain, so I gave it Swift Swim, Chlorophyll, and Storm Drain. But unlike Ludicolo, I geared its stats heavily towards the physical side. I also wanted it to be usable outside of weather, so I gave it an incredibly good supporting move pool of Fake Out, Rage Powder, and Spore, as well as a number of good offensive moves. I I'm surprised that there's not more water grass types. Though. I know. I feel like it would be such a common type. You'd think so, it. yeah. I mean, we only, this generation, we only got our first fire grass type, and I think the only fire water type is Volcanion. I've been making a lot of object Pokemon, so I think I need to actually make a creature what am i doing what this was i'm stumped i'm not gonna lie i'm not doing very well with this one i've got an idea i kind of like him i like i like this guy i just need a direction Jaden. i'm making an abomination i'm really sorry oh i'm sorry it's like I it's think bad we're, like, we're it, due for a, a silly guy I, I, it's certainly okay. something i want to meet him so bad <laughs> you really don't I'd say four out of five is a pretty good ratio, though. That's true. I, I don't. I feel like three. I feel proud of three out of five of these. <laughs> okay, I'll share uh, first. So let me know if you can see my masterpiece. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> so this. I lo I'm loving the Pentagon body. Yeah. So this is Mill Demon. Okay. I'll be honest with you. Initially, I was thinking about water, like the grass that like, grows in the water. I totally blanking on the name you know what i'm talking about seaweed not seaweed but like like water reeds you know what i mean i don't know how we ended up here um <laughs> but i really hate it i think it is truly an abomination <laughs> and the fact that i was it's not ghost or dark type it's water grass i think is, is a horrible mistake i like him i think he's funny you're never expecting him i wasn't and... expecting him he just showed up <laughs> so my idea behind this guy he looks like mega septile I guess Plus a little bit. Inteleon. Yeah. Uh, I think the colors really, really helped him out. 
but I was thinking water grass. There's like this lizard called the, I think it's called the basilisk that okay. can run oh, across water. Uh, yeah, I really like that. I, I think that all out of all the ones you've drawn, this is one of the more like Pokemon looking ones. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. I, I gave him like, it's mainly because he looks like Mega Sceptile. <laughs> <laughs> I like his little hands too. He's like- Me too. <laughs> I don't have a name for him though. The comments, you can let us know. Yeah, comments. I, I'm not good at thinking of the, uh, thinking of the names. I, I draw the, pic the I draw the Pokemon. And that's all of the Pokemon that I came up with. Let me know which one was your favorite, and if you'd like me to do this again sometime.